Hi, Mr. Pesh here, and in this tutorial, we're going to go over final stages in sketching, and we're going to build up a more of a artistic form of presenting our sketches, kind of a final piece here. So in previous tutorials, we're talking about sketching just to, you know, really learn how to draw and form a quick understanding of an object and really study it and not really come to a final product here, but with these, uh, when we're adding ink and even some color, we can kind of come to a final artistic version of what we've been doing here. So that's the goal here. Um, so here's some examples that I found on the internet, all dealing with birds, and they're all about the same colors. I don't know if they're done by the same artist or not, but it looks like it's so. And so you can see that there's still that sketchy look. Um, there's some loose definition there, very gestural type drawings. Um, you see the integration of some blocked in uh, values and contour lines. And, and then just right over the top of that, even some loose color. So you don't have to be really exact. It's merely just an impression here. All right. So where we want to start off with is what you want to do is some pencil sketching first. We're going to do two animals because uh, it's going to be a little bit more um, developed. And I just chose a beta and a bird and, um, you know, very colorful. But of course, you guys can pick whatever animal you want, even if it's the coyote or a bear or it just deals with one color, really. And what you want to do is sketch that as our previous steps, you want to use your contour line and even start hatching in and blocking in some shadow and some values in there. And if you look closely, you know, sometimes a lot of times color gets in our way. This is a very light yellow here, but here it gets a little bit darker. So you'll want to add in some lighter hatch lines in there. Maybe for those darker versions of the color, like here the head's green, but here's a little bit darker. Maybe add in some hatch lines there. So dealing with color can get a little bit confusing as far as where the shadows are. Just try to blur your eyes and, you know, look for the really dark spots. These should be really dark, almost scribbled in, almost completely black maybe. And then um, if we're looking at blue here, here's the darker versions of blue. So more hatch lines there lighter hatch lines here and of course nothing here in the white or lighter areas will allow color to do the trick there too all right so once you have your pencil drawings we're going to go over it in pen and i'd recommend just regular a regular big pen here i'm going to go quicker um the gel pens you're going to want to allow to dry here's a gel pen this one's a little jelly <laughs> and uh is more of like a big style pen. You can tell by the inks a little bit grayer. I'm gonna use one right in the middle here. And I'm gonna go over my outlines here and uh, clean up maybe some of my hatch lines here. I'm gonna make sure my reference is right here. Just make sure I'm not messing up too much. All right, and then go quicker in this tutorial. I'd still even allow this to dry up a little bit. Fill in those eyes there. Hopefully you guys are able to see this. Nope, not so much. Let's see what that looks like. The beta fish has always got that grumpy look. So some lighter hatch lines there. Those good, really good sketch artists keep their hatch lines pretty uniform going in the same directions. I tend to just be all over the place. That's how I naturally really do it. Okay, and there's that little fin in here, so I'm going around it. And still continue to add in some gestural strokes in there, a little bit lighter here, a little bit more open on the line there for a lighter version of value. And I'll do the same thing here, just to start off. 
course it gets a lot darker here so some cross hatching a little bit closer on the lines dark shadow pretty much contours the bottom darker version of blue here so we're adding some hatching lines here a bit more open Don't be afraid to outline on this one, that's okay. And let's see, just kind of give the impression of some scales, some fish scales in there. Catch it right over the top. There. And let's see, let's add in these lines. I'm just gonna copy right over the top. There's a lot more lines in here, but just as long as we get the impression of where the lines are at. The ends of these tails were, I noticed were really blocky. Closer on the lines here. I'm not even looking at my drawing. I'm just drawing what's there. Okay. A little shadow on the tail there. Of course, the tail is really, it seems really dark with that dark blue, but I just want, I'm going to let the color do the trick there. What you're primarily looking for is just the darker areas. Just hatch in at first. And then if it gets a little bit darker, you know, maybe cross hatch in some areas or add in some more lines over the top. All right, so that looks pretty good. Let's see what it, it will look like in color. And I'm using acrylic paint. I'm just doing a little dab of each color, red, blue, yellow, because um, we do have some yellow in here. Some pretty traditional blue. It looks a little bit on the purpler side, so it probably has a little bit of red in there. And of course, some reddish blue, more of a reddish purple, I guess I would say. So we're gonna, um, I'll move my palette right here. I'm gonna use a lot more water here. I'm gonna put water in the middle of my palette. And I'm gonna start off a little bit of blue. We're gonna use these acrylics like watercolor. Okay, start off with a nice light wash and we'll build up from there. Hopefully this doesn't run too much. And of course, looking back at our examples here, we can get pretty messy. <laughs> it's okay, just as long as we have um, an interpretation of color, I think would be all right, okay? So let's see what this looks like. Definitely a lot heavier blue in here. Runs across. I'll make sure I leave this white spot right in there so I'm a little bit lighter. Looks like I need a little bit more water. Just a little tad more blue. Across the bottom. Okay. And if you got that mixed media paper, it should be pretty watery. Um, should hold the water pretty well. And then we're just gonna add a little bit more color. And sometimes you can drop some color in there and it spreads. Again, we're not trying to do super awesome painting here. Maybe just a little dab of black, especially in the shadow area. Oop, almost too much there. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. Cool. Little version there, a little chunk there. What else we got? Okay, over here. Really, you shouldn't be able to need to do too much black because those hatching pen marks should should do the trick. All right, and let's go. Let's do some really loose. Persians there with blue, leaving some open spots for the red. Okay, it's okay to go outside. The marks there, let's show a little bit more blue in the face, especially around the eye. Kind of goes across the eye. A little bit more color. Add a little bit more blue, especially back here. 
and that water will help with that color run. And just you can sketch with color a little bit. I smeared it, whatever. It's okay. A little bit more saturated color in there. All right, let's leave that as is. Let's put a little bit more right there. Okay, let's do a little bit of red with that blue. With that reddish purple. Let's do a little smear there. About right there towards the ends. Going right over the top. Mix that in. Just add a little bit more red. A little bit more saturation. See where that goes. Okay. Cool. And then we have some yellow. Make sure, look at your water. You know, when you're mixing all these colors together, you might naturally make a brownish color, but okay, let's just do a little dab of yellow here. Cool. Just a little bit on the nose and just a little bit of saturated yellow here, just pure yellow right about there. Bit on the eyeball. Okay. Looks pretty good. We're gonna leave it just like that. Even got a little bit of reddish strokes in here. Sure. And just don't think about it too much. And you'll even see some like paint splatters around it. Here's a trick to that. Let's do some blue ones. Add a lot of water. And just tap, tap your brush a little bit. If you add a lot of water, just do a bigger tap or let it drop. See what that looks like. Sure. Uh, put some regular paint inside of the droplet and it'll spread pretty well. Probably want to use a bigger brush here. There we go. All right, sure. <laughs> All right, it looks okay. Pretty sketchy. All right, so that looks okay. And in fact, probably too blue. Blot it just a little bit. Okay, let's do the bird. And of course, you can go back in over the top, add more color if you feel like you need to, and definitely some more pen to add some definition there. But. Let's get to the bird. Let's see what this will look like here. We're at 13 minutes. Let's try to try to speed this up. All right, so this bird beak is almost pure black. So I'm gonna sketch in some pure black here. Especially the eyes. Let's scribble that in. This spot here. some hatch marks some lighter hatch marks here so just open a bit more open here darker in the belly got this nose probably a black belly I don't think it's just a shadow clean that up a little bit Going too quick here. And that's just for the tutorial. I don't want to take him too long. He should take my time a little bit more. Little shadows in there. A little bit of shadows inside each feather. Trying to be consistent with my lines here. Trying to make them pretty parallel. A little bit cleaner. Again, that's up to you. Some of you guys might want to do really scribbly. Some lines here, like in the shadows, are just thicker lines versus thinner lines. Get a shadow underneath the wing there. Get some hatch lines. I 
I even added the branch in here. I'm just gonna go a lot quicker. Let's do some really sketchy illustrations here. Let me pull this up, sorry. Okay, let's just do some more gestural stuff here. Scribbly, let's do it. Okay. Sure. Lighter. All right, sure. There we go. A little bit darker in here. A little shadow. All right, went scribbly. Looks pretty good. Let's add in some color, and we'll be done. So let's go. I'm gonna clean off my palette. Get those yellows and reds out of there. And uh, let's start off with some yellow. We change your brushes for each color, so. Some water. It's pretty saturated yellow here, let's see. Look like right about in here. Right over the top. Let's scribble in some color too. Sure. A little bit of yellow back here. Okay. Let's go with green. We got yellow and blue make green. Let's see where we get here. I'm using a flat brush on this one. So right over the top. Well, looks like we need more blue for the green. Darker green, let's see. Not a very true green, but it's okay, let's go. Okay, let's scribble that in. Okay, leave some of that white in there. Green, if it's too dark, add some more water. Just do a nice wash. You can see that yellow is in my brush still. It's okay, we'll be a different color bird. Uh, let's see, a little green over here for the feathers, a little green here. water a little bit lighter here on the green okay let's go in some blue use this little reservoir right here go with some true blue you can start off it's always good to start off a little bit lighter than you think and let's go scribble that in leave some white a little bit of blue right in here like just a little dab We'll dab up here too. Okay, let's go a little bit more pure blue right here. And underneath the wing. Sure. And right above. Oh, it looks pretty good. And we'll just leave it like that. And let's even add like a little bit of brown. So let's just add red to this. And get some brown in here. All the colors will make uh, a muddy brown. Let's do, uh, yeah, here we go. So these colors are pretty much going to act kind of like your mid-tone here. Leave some white in there. Even his legs are brown, sure. And he's got some brown right here. Let's add that. Okay, looks good. We'll leave it just like that.